Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my August favorites. Now I'm super excited because I feel like this is the first month in a while where I actually have a really nice assortment of stuff to show you guys. I have some makeup, some skincare, some hair care, some nail stuff, and a few lifestyle items as well. So let's jump right in and I'll show you guys everything that I've been loving for the month. So my first favorite for the month is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Now when this first came out, I actually convinced myself that I did not need it. Fast forward to about four weeks ago, I was like, you know, I really want some pretty burgundy and berry colored eyeshadows for fall. I think that'd be super pretty. So I was shopping the palettes on Sephora.com and I saw this one. I was like, oh my God, yes, that's perfect. It's exactly what I'm looking for. And then I looked down and I was like, oh, that's the palette I convinced myself I didn't need. So obviously I bought it. I've been using it ever since and I am obsessed with it. The colors are just perfection. I mean, look at this, you guys. This is the most perfect palette ever, especially for fall. Now my three favorite shades in here are Bon Fresco, Love Letter, and Venetian Red. So next up is the Kenra Dry Thickening Spray. Now I heard about this from Nicole Guerrero's channel a while back and I've been loving it. This to me is like a combination of dry shampoo and hairspray, which might sound kind of weird, but for me it seriously works perfect on my hair. I have long hair and it's thick and it's kind of hard to work with sometimes. And this just, I don't know, it just does amazing things for my hair. It gives it like volume, it helps like any greasiness I might have. It also works as like a hairspray if I need a little bit more hold. So this is an awesome product. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, I'm sure you've heard me refer to myself as Lash Spastic because I just have the worst luck with false lashes. Luckily that has changed. These are the Vegas Nay Easy Elegance Lashes by Ilor. I am obsessed with these, you guys. Like I wear them every single day now because I just love the way they look. They're so easy to apply and they just make my lashes look really nice and thick and full without looking fake and to me that's just perfection. Um, and I think these are only five or six dollars at Ulta. I have been highlighter obsessed lately and this is the new one from Ofra Cosmetics in the color Rodeo Drive. This is a supposed dupe for the Estee Lauder Heat Wave highlighter that was released way back when and was discontinued since. The color on this is gorgeous. It's like this perfect champagne gold color. The color payoff's amazing. It blends really nicely and honestly I just I want to bathe in it. Like I want to sparkle like the sun. So a few weeks ago my skin decided to go nuts and I had a horrible breakout, probably the worst one that I've had in a really long time and I was like, you know, maybe I should try a new cleanser. So I picked up the Ole Henriksen Aloe Vera Deep Cleanser. I kid you guys not when I say overnight this made the biggest difference in my skin. I washed my face at night and the following morning my skin looked clear, the redness was going down, the bumps were going down and I continued to use it morning and night for like the next probably three or four days and by the fourth day my skin was completely clear. Like this is seriously a miracle product. I am always on the hunt for a great new primer. Now this one isn't necessarily new, but it is new to me. It is the Dr. Jart Pore Medic Pore Finish Primer. I have large pores on my nose and my chin. It's a problem I've always had. And I do have fine lines just generally around my face, like in my smile lines, on my eyes, and on my forehead. And this just does the most amazing job of filling all of those in and just giving my skin a really nice finish to apply my foundation. Another product I'm always on the lookout for is a great under eye concealer. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream and it is amazing you guys. Number one, it's super pigmented. It covers up my dark circles like a dream, like one layer and you cannot see anything. It's like super bright, really pretty. It blends out really, really nicely and I love the applicator on this. It's it's shaped differently than anything else I've ever used but I really like it. It's almost like a little rounded edge triangle and it just makes it really easy to kind of get in the corners of your eyes. So this next one is super random, but I wanted to share it with you guys. It is the Vaseline Lip Therapy in Cocoa Butter. I actually do not put this on my lips. I put it on my cuticles. Now I suffer from horribly dry cuticles. Like they're so dry that they peel and they flake and then I pick at them and basically until they bleed, which I know is horrible, but I do it. So I started using this and I have never seen such an improvement in my cuticles. Like they actually look like pretty normal people cuticles now. Like I said, I've been all about that glow this month and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sweets Glow Kit. You get four full size pans in here. The first one is Marshmallow, which is a really pretty white color. Sassy Grape, which is my all time favorite. I just think it's such a unique, pretty color. And then you have Butterscotch, which is just a gold, and then Taffy, which is a really gorgeous peach color. Forgive me you guys because I know I'm gonna butcher this, but I believe it's Guerlain Peregrinita Perfume. I bought this while I was in Italy and it is the best smelling perfume I've ever purchased. I am super picky when it comes to scents. I only like very specific ones, mainly like fruity citrusy ones. And this one, oh my God, like it smells like the perfect combination of pears and citrus and summer. I mean, it's just, oh, it smells like heaven and I love the packaging of it. Another cleanser that I've been loving this month, especially for my super oily days, is this First Aid Beauty Red Clay Cleanser. I just love the way this makes my skin feel. It really helps clean out all the grease and dirt and grime and leaves my skin feeling nice and matte. 
Last but not least for makeup is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Now I did a review and demo on this in a previous video. I will link that down below if you're interested. This is honestly just my new Holy Grail foundation. It is amazing to me. Seriously, the best foundation I've ever tried or used. It's so pigmented, it has amazing coverage, it blends out like a dream, the color's really nice. I just, I'm obsessed with this, you guys. So for lifestyle favorites, I had to mention this mini ring light that I got for my phone. It's basically a miniature version of the ring light that a lot of people use for filming videos and selfies and things like that. And all you do is clip it onto your phone and you can like flip it around if you want. But like when you take selfies, you just turn on the light and you have low, medium, and then high. And it just perfectly lights your photos, which I thought was super neat. I use this obviously for selfies as well as a lot of my product shots. Last but not least is actually the shirt that I'm wearing. This is from Forever 21. It's this really cute, like super duper soft pink t-shirt and short sleeves. And then it just says squat across the front in black. And I just thought it was really cute. And I think it was only like $14. Those are all the favorites I have for this month. Let me know in the comments down below what your guys' favorite products were this month. I'd love to check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye. It's all just from the foundation. You guys can see how matte it stays on its own. Um, all I did was put a little bit of blush over it, a little highlight, um, and then my eyebrows, and I.